One of the biggest issues that still exist in the data center facing IT professionals is tape and tape management. Entire processes and lower expectations have been built around dealing with the limitations of tape for both backup and recovery. Tape rotations, human error leading to lost or overwritten tapes, mechanical failures, slow performance, meaning backup windows getting increasingly difficult or unachievable, missing recovery time objectives, unrecoverable data, shipping tapes off-site, which increases cost and security risks, recurring costs of acquiring new tapes and storing old tapes, and the list goes on. We knew we wanted to eliminate tape storage. It had become inefficient for us. Over a period of time, we investigated different solutions. And when we reviewed our objectives and the solutions available at the time, it became clear that disk backup and deduplication technology were necessary for us to meet our recovery time objectives. Ironically, IT professionals using tape for backup and disaster recovery are unsure whether they can reliably recover all their data from tape if ever needed. So the very thing being used to back up their data is in their mind unreliable. All of this leads to an environment that begs to be reinvented, to be redesigned. We have completely stopped using tapes. The bank now has a more robust and fault tolerant backup system. It runs automatically every night, and it doesn't require the need of employees to change tapes and take them home. We're also seeing a 23 to 1 compression ratio or deduplication, and restores have been handled quickly and effectively by the IT department. We no longer have to wait to have tapes either brought back in or reloaded and reread before we can restore data. There has been a major shift in the data center. Backup environments are being redesigned, which has led to a huge leap in efficiency, solving the biggest challenges with backing up and recovering data. The shift has been enabled by data deduplication as part of a disk-based backup solution. Over the last few years, I've spoken with literally hundreds of IT professionals that have made this shift, and there are tens of thousands of others that have done so as well. The folks I've spoken to have taken one of their worst and, quite frankly, least compelling areas of their IT environments, backup, and are are now heroes in their organizations. They state that implementing data domain has completely changed their day-to-day -day environments, significantly improving reliability, recovery time objectives, reduced both CapEx and OpEx, and enable them to either implement remote replication for the first time for disaster recovery, or increase the amount of data they are replicating because of the cost efficiencies of data dedupe. The first reason I decided to use a disk-to-disk -disk backup solution is that tape solution is very cumbersome, time consuming, and there's many issues that are involved with tape solution. Since I have implemented data domain, I do not use any tape at all. Uh, the solution that I currently use is a full implementation of disk to disk in a daily backup, and I also have an off-site replication site for a data domain server. Tape and tape libraries are mechanical and manual, prone to human error, and cumbersome to manage and maintain. In some cases, companies will continue to use tape, but its role in the data center is clearly diminishing. In other cases, customers have or will be limiting tape altogether. All IT systems cost money, time, and resource. However, customers don't mind spending money, they mind wasting it. And that is the undercurrent that drives this backup redesign from tape to disk-based backup with data deduplication. Investing in old methods of a bygone era is not a good use of capital when you consider the risk, the performance, and the inefficiency inherent with tape.